Hey guys, money and news video. Uh, good Monday afternoon now. Usually I do this on Sunday, so maybe we'll have more on the load board. I don't know. Um, truck's in the shop getting the suspension straightened out. I just got a text. He said everything, uh, when he undid the front axle, everything kind of popped into place. So something was uh, goofy. Not surprising considering the war zones of roads that we drive on, especially in the Michigan uh, area, Indiana even Chicago. It's just unbelievable. Don't know who's getting all our road tax money, but it's certainly not going to the road. So I really got no news. I can't think of anything. So we'll just move into the load board. Uh, yeah, I can't think of nothing. It, it's a little bit slow right now. Uh, I kind of predicted this and uh, look for next month to be maybe even a little bit slower. Um, we are so, I'm not, I could care less. I know who the king is, so I don't care who the president is. But people are such emotionally driven, scaredy cats, afraid of everything. And if their person, whoever that is, right, left, whatever, doesn't win, the world's going to crash. Uh, okay, yeah, I got a text from him. So, you know, I, I hear it all the time. What was I going to, oh, I got to buy a, uh, I got to buy my wife a car or I got to go buy a trailer, uh, talk to the tax man and, uh, or I'll owe big money at the end of the year. And of course, a couple of people I've told that too. I mean, this is just their thought press. Well, I'd hold off till November, but that doesn't mean anything to me. I still need the tax write off and my world does not get put on hold because of a political season. But most people's do. So everybody's like, hold on, I'm not going to start this project until my guy or my girl wins or whatever. So uh, we're in a state of unrest um, until after November. And then uh, I guess we'll see what happens after then. I don't put a lot of thought into these things, to be honest with you, man. All right, so let's, uh, I got some load board requests. We'll do those and then maybe we'll just jump around to some other areas and then I'll see if I made any money this week. I think we did okay. So, all right, see you in a minute. All right, up and going here. Uh, text message. Oh, where are we going here? Okay. All right, look, oh, physical doing nine days. Got that done this morning, so we're all right. Uh, what is a sign trip? I haven't opened most of this stuff. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, start our searches. The first one is Chamsburg, I don't even know how to say that because it's got an E R S B. I don't know, somewhere Pennsylvania. Let's just type it in there. F A M B E R S. And then there it is. Wanted uh, that. We will do a uh, date range of today. Oh, heck, we'll go out till Thursday, I guess. Oh, heck, let's just see. We'll just do the date range all week. I don't know. Sometimes they put up stuff uh, well in advance. So let's show the results. Two loads within 100 miles, uh, New York and New York. Uh, not for me, but uh, let's bump out to 150 miles. Now you got seven loads, uh, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New York, PA, New York, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and that's a pretty good rate for... It's a short one, but five sixty four a mile. Okay, uh, and oh, hey, let's just go out two hundred miles. If that's how far we might have to leave to go to leave the house. Now we're up to eighteen loads, so looks like there's stuff for you to do around there. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, my kids brought home another little cold. Tennessee, New York, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Ohio. Yeah, you got some stuff there. All right, let's just bump that back down to 100. I think I can type it in too, but let's do it this way. All right, what's the next one? Oh, that's going to be a state search. Someone wanted Mississippi, so we'll just uh, we'll look in the whole state. Mississippi's, huh, it's hit or miss. A lot of kind of lumber loads, you know. Oh, it didn't go in there. Come on now. Nope, what are we doing here? States only. And the South, Mississippi, done. There we go. What do we got in Mississippi? 51 loads. So there's some stuff. You didn't say where in Mississippi. 
So I'll just go through the, I'll just scroll up, try not to talk too much, and I'll kind of let you look so you can figure out what's by you. Um, got stuff going to Pennsylvania, Alabama, Texas, Indiana. Um, that's not a terrible one. 248. Okay. More Indiana stuff. Georgia, Tennessee. Then over to the right, you got where it's coming out of Corinth, of course. Ackerman, Mississippi. So, there is some stuff in Mississippi to keep you busy here. Going into Kentucky, Texas, Mississippi to Mississippi. Wisconsin, Texas, Georgia, Louisiana, Missouri. Yeah, looks like there's some stuff uh, definitely down there. We're still going here. 51 loads, this might take a minute. So I'm going slow and you can pause at any time. Okay, and that was all the load board requests. So let's just, uh, well, we'll just cruise the areas we normally cruise. Let's see what's happening in Chicago. Today, I don't know, about 150 miles on all these. Date range, same. 26 loads. Uh, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Kansas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, to Carolina, North Carolina, South Dakota, Utah, Georgia. I got a lot of bit of stuff coming out of Chicago today. Of course, because I'm not up there, right? All right, where else we want to go? Let's just shift over in Detroit. See if Lori has anything up today. She's got 22 loads out of Detroit, Florida, Pennsylvania, uh, Kansas City, Missouri. I just did one of those. Uh, that's not a very good paying one. Mine was much better than that. Hmm, yeah, that's a. Uh, wonder if that's her. I don't think that's her load. I'd have to open up the, uh, I'd have to open that. That doesn't, I don't think that's her. Uh, but I don't want to open it up and put her information on the internet. Uh, Jefferson City, Muncie, Indiana. Plenty of stuff going to Indiana, Tennessee. Busy in Detroit today. Sorry. I always tell you guys, we usually do this Sunday, and that's not a great, great way. Let's slide over to Cleveland. Uh, what am I? Let's see, Cleveland, Ohio. Nineteen loads coming out of Cleveland or near Cleveland, within one hundred and fifty miles. PA, Indiana, Missouri, Indiana, Indiana. Busy, busy, busy today, boy, I tell you what. And uh, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Most of the stuff's already booked. And uh, unless some of these are some they didn't pull off. But let's do Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't need one T. Pittsburgh. Nope, that's not what I wanted. we got to have an H on the end of it. I remember you told me. Uh, no, what are we doing wrong here? Well, yeah, I am having an issue spelling today, so. There we go, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I get it eventually. All right. 12 loads, Florida, Florida, down into Missouri, Indiana, Indiana, busy, busy. It's also starting to get cold, and everybody's going to migrate south, so uh, speaking of south, let's go south to Atlanta. Holy moly, you got 46 loads down there, plenty of stuff for you guys to do down in Atlanta this morning. Afternoon, I should say, all over Texas, Kansas City, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Indiana. We're just buried up in loads here today. That's crazy. I'm a sitting home twiddling my thumbs, but that's all right. Let's go over to uh, the Birmingham area. Uh, 
Might be a good day to check Texas and some of those. Holy smoly, 123 loads. What is going on? Let's, let's suck this down a little bit. Some of the results. 58 loads. Still plenty. All kinds of stuff here. No, yep, Indiana, Tennessee. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So let's start to check some states, some wild card states for you guys. Yeah, let's do St. Louis first. I always forget to do that. Only five loads up there, so. All right, let's uh, let's just check some states, some wild card states. Uh, I don't know where they consider Texas. It's in the south. All right, done. What's on the board in Texas? Only eight loads in Texas. They are not going in great areas either. That's what I say. It's so cheap to get out of Texas, man. Two bucks a mile. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know, guys. I guess I'll wrap that up there. I can't think of any other states to check. I mean, I could sit here and do all the West Coast states, but I can't advise uh, more highly against not going out there. All right. We'll see you. All right. We'll go crunch up some numbers, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm just holding the phone. I'm going to flip this around. I uh, got to ask. I haven't asked this a few times. What spreadsheet and computer system do I use for these numbers? You got to be kidding, right? I don't know how to do that. I, I thought I, I've told you guys this before somewhere, I think, but I'm going to show you the high tech system I'm reading off of here right now. So let me flip this around and then we'll go through it as I'll show you. But this chicken scratch will mean nothing to you. But let me show you what I'm working with. Oh, let me see if I can get this propped up. There we go. Loads and all my chicken scratch for these numbers. It's all pen and paper. That's how I do it. All right, hold up. All right, let's put this phone down here. Okay, dokey. There we go. If this is your first money part of the money and news video, all these numbers are to me after CRST takes 25% of what they take 25% of, which is line haul and extra stop pay only, <coughs> excuse me, all other assorial charges like tarping, all the fuel surcharge, that all goes to you. Okie dokie. So this week we left Monday morning, eight o'clock in the morning, and we were home Thursday night at seven at night. So four days, four kind of long days, but not really because I went flip-flop in the middle of the week. We'll get to that. So, um, we left Monday, we went down to Blyville, we loaded 45,000 pounds worth of beams, Going to Bellevue, Ohio, paid me $1,663.85 at $253 a loaded mile on 657 miles. From there, we deadheaded up to the Detroit area. I actually loaded in Canton, Michigan, but she had a bunch of stuff going here, there, and everywhere. And I'm tell you, I'm just a diva, guys. I just, uh, uh that I unloaded that what <coughs> Tuesday morning. And I didn't load till the next day, noon at Wednesday. So I flip-flopped for almost 24 hours in a truck stop because I didn't want to go to South Carolina. I didn't want to go here. And I didn't want to go to Southern Indiana. She had some other options for me. I just didn't want to do them. And she had one loading Tuesday night at like 10 o'clock at night. I don't load at night, man. It's just not my thing. Uh, 10 o'clock at night, I'd be farting around in there till midnight, and I'd be all sweaty, and I'd have to start my clock at midnight, and I'm just not doing any of that, so I went flip-flop diva mode, and I did not load till the next morning, when's next day at noon, when, well, noon their time, 11 my time, uh, I was in and out of there in about an hour and a half, so picked up a uh, coil out of Canton, Michigan, uh, going to Kansas City, Missouri, Maybe 1,995, 34, 270 a loaded mile on 739 miles. That's it. I ended my week, came home. Before you Google Mappers flip out, yes, that's about 300 miles. My choice. I could have went to St. Louis, could have done a lot of things. I uh, just didn't want to. I was headed home. And if it bothers you that much, then don't watch the video, I guess. But the fuel that I spent to get home, the whole 120 bucks worth of fuel, roughly, that I burned to come home, it is in the fuel receipts here. So there you go. Uh, all right. So total for the week, four days. Well, if you can't, it's two loads. Four days with a 24-hour flip-flop period. Thirty-six fifty-nine nineteen CRST deductions. My trailer rent two twenty-five a week. Uh, 
base plates, bobtail insurance, quail com, this, that, all the other goodies. Um, 370 bucks. Fuel receipts for discounts. I will get some discounts off of this, but 971.37. One of the nights I paid $18 uh, for a parking spot. Um, uh, washed the truck 8903 at a streaking beacon. They did a crappy job as usual. Leaving me a uh, net profit for the four days, 221079. 2200 bucks four days, I'll take it, man. It's better than McDonald's. So, uh, mileage numbers for the bean counters 1396 loaded miles at 262. Uh, a loaded mile, uh, 1498. So, less than 1500 miles all in. Uh, 244 all, all miles all in. Cost per mile, $3.70 a week, uh, down to the $89 truck wash, $0.96 cents cost per mile with a net of $1.48. Dry van guys can't even get $1.48 to the truck right now, so I'm feeling blessed. Uh, for you lease purchase guys, I add $730 on top of my $3.70 because you have the lease payment. You're probably paying into an escrow and you're probably maybe paying for securement equipment, all that stuff that I already have done a long time ago. Um, 730 for that. Uh, if they get you for every mile on the 1498, your mileage maintenance would have been 299.60. Uh, so even on a little itty bitty short week this week, you made 1181.19. So don't know how you guys get in the red. So uh, you're just doing really bad stuff, I guess. All right, guys, that's all I got. Yeah, sitting here waiting. Uh, like I said, they working on my truck. I guess they popped the suspension back in line. Needed a needed a chiropractor, I guess. <laughs> Chir the mechanic, chiropractor, and some new U-bolts. And uh, they're checking on uh, maybe a little coolant leak that I can't seem to find. And a couple other little piddly things. And uh, I might get the truck back today, might not, because we got to go to a football game for my son tonight. So I don't know if I'm heading out tomorrow or Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stay home all week. I don't know. I haven't decided. That's the great thing about being an owner-operator. I'll figure it out when I figure it out, and I get to figure it out. I don't know if that's good or not. All right, guys. See ya. God bless you. Bye-bye.